Does RTI have the potential to reduce disproportionality in special education? I think RTI has a great potential to reduce disproportionality. Traditionally, the focus in disproportionality has been looking at counting the numbers of students within various subgroups in different categories or placements in, in order to identify disproportionality. However, within RTI, the focus on improving student outcomes uh, really provides an opportunity to change how we think about disproportionality. And through the high quality instruction that is culturally and linguistically responsive, we have the opportunity to ensure that we're focusing on the needs of all different groups of students um, and all students individually. Uh, one of the ways to make sure we align this, obviously, through assessment, another key component to RTI. And looking at the assessment used through RTI of the screening and progress decisions that we need to make and the assessments that go with them, it really gives us the opportunity to focus on the improved outcomes for individual students as well as various subgroups of students to make determinations of how they're performing. One of the considerations for me is to look at the evidence-based interventions and not just the general quality, the general efficacy of these interventions, but also how different individuals or different subgroups of students may respond differentially. And so that when we're judging an evidence base, we're considering the different groups and, and how they may respond rather than just considering the general efficacy of an intervention. So these characteristics are not necessarily specific to RTI, the high quality instruction, use of assessment, database decision making, um, but as core characteristics of RTI, they're some of the, the vehicles that we can use to address disproportionality.